ओके एग्जाम्पल टू पावर टॉयज इंग प्रोड्यूस a small remote control toy truck on a conveyor belt with nine tasks tasks and processing times are summarized in the table all tasks are manually performed and the sequence shown cannot be changed if the demand is 200 toys per day combine the elements to form workstations to meet the demand how many workers are required assuming one worker at each workstation there are eight working hours every day if the demand increases to 300 toys per day how many new workers should be hired and how should they be assigned to different tasks so first we need to find the tech time so that is the production time per day in this case divided by demand per day so you have to keep the time uh, element same if you are talking in terms of daily time so you have to take daily demand if it is say weekly time as was in the case of example 1 then it should be weekly demand. so 2.5 uh, 2.4 minutes or 144 seconds so we can combine the task and there could be different possibilities so one of them is that one we are having just task a 75 at station 2 only task b 85 seconds then we are combining at the task c and d at work station 3 so time will be 135 c and d and then we are combining e and f so time will be 125 and then we are combining g and h so that is time is 140 and finally task i that is 80 seconds so none of these times should exceed 144 seconds of course you could think of some other possibility as well we could for example uh have task a b and c as work station 1 2 and 3 and then we could combine say d and d e instead of c and d e. so there there could be other possibilities as well so the capacity is available time divided by time per unit so we have calculated the capacities of different workstations as well and workstation 5 has the minimum capacity 205 but the demand is 200 so we can meet the demand now i hope you can figure out the cycle time as well so as we are assuming one worker at every workstation so the cycle time is 140 so that 140 is of course 140 is less than 144 so we can meet the demand and after first part there will be a part coming out of the assembly line after every 140 seconds so i hope that point is clear Now, in question two, it is given that if the demand increases to three hundred toys per day, so you could see here that these are the three workstations, three, four, and five, that are having that are having capacity less than three hundred. So we have to increase uh, the capacity of these three workstations, three, four, and five, in order to uh, meet the demand. so simply we can add one worker to each of these workstations uh, to increase the capacity so this is these are the workstation that we will be having so workstation 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and the task that will be performed at each workstation we have to add worker at each of these three workstations so simply the capacity will double so these are the new capacities and now uh, the workstation 2 is the bottleneck that has the capacity of 338 but that is greater than 300 so we can easily meet the demand in fact we will have some some idle time and some uh, we will either have some idle time or we will have some over production and you should have noticed that 
for a demand of 200, the tech time was 144. And as the demand has increased, the tech time has reduced. So in this case, we have to add resources to different workstations to increase the capacity. 